this video, I'm going to be talking about coccidiosis. And later on, I'm going to be talking about the signs and symptoms and stay tuned till the end because I'm going to be going through some prevention tips so you don't ever have to experience this with your birds. So without further ado, let's get into it. If your chickens start acting ill, your mind might start racing with all the things that could be going wrong. Coccidiosis is a prevalent killer in chickens and it's pretty easy to identify and treat if you know how to catch it quickly. Let me start off with answering the question, what is coccidiosis? According to the Merck Manual of Veterinary Medicine, coccidiosis is caused by the protozoa of the phylum Apicomplexa. The family is Imeridae. To simplify it, coccidiosis is a parasite that attacks the intestines of poultry and many other species as well. Coccidiosis is passed from one chicken to another through infected droppings. And once the organism attaches itself to the intestinal lining, it destroys the organ's ability to absorb the nutrition the chickens need to survive. Coccidiosis moves fast and can kill a chicken, but don't worry. It would be pretty rare for it to be passed to humans or other animals unless poultry. All chickens carry strains of this parasite, but not all will become infected. Conditions have to be perfect for coccidiosis to survive and progress through its life cycle. The parasite protozoa starts as a teeny tiny egg, and from the droppings of one chicken to another through digestion, it enters the intestine and starts wreaking havoc. Now, let's get into the signs and symptoms that you'll see if your chicken has a coccidiosis. You need to keep a close watch for the following lethargy diarrhea huddling or like seems like their temperatures drop so they're huddling with other chickens like kind of following them around because they're cold pale combs and skin around the eyes loss of appetite, no longer laying eggs, weight loss, and ruffled feathers. All these symptoms can indicate other illnesses too. And the only way you can be sure your chicken does have coccidiosis is to take a fecal sample to the vet for testing. Your vet will also prescribe treatment for you to be in immediately. So let's get into the treatment. But before I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. So let's get into the treatment and then stay tuned because I'll talk about prevention to make sure you don't have this happen to you. Luckily, you can cure coccidiosis with the correct treatment and your flock will be healthy once again. The most commonly prescribed treatment is amprolium, an over-the-counter medication. And all you have to do is add it to your chicken's water. And yes, if one is infected, it's safe to assume that all your feather friends need treatment. If you have a chicken that refuses to eat or drink, amprolium can be given by mouth. But ask your vet about dosage instructions in this scenario. You'll treat your chickens for about seven days and while doing so, you'll need to clean the house. Clean the entire coop, remove all droppings, and do a thorough deep clean of the cell as a whole. Coccidia can survive for up to a year in soil and warm, humid environments. If you're unsure that you've been able to remove all traces of the coccidia protozoa, consider giving your chickens amprolium regularly for a year, but always ask your vet first to see if this is okay. Coccidiosis can do a lot of damage to your chicken's intestines, and if they contract the parasite often, they may experience long-term side effects, including decreased egg production. Remember, a damaged digestive system does not absorb nutrients effectively. All right, let's get into prevention. When it comes to chicken's illnesses, disease and parasites, prevention is always the best way to combat whatever comes your way. It's best to be preventative rather than dealing with the stress of being reactive to a problem once it shows up. So how do you prevent this? Let's dig into the details here. Number one, practice good housekeeping. A, a clean coop is the number one thing you need to do on this list because excessive droppings may promote disease just in general. Keep it tidy and clean and your chickens will be happy and the parasites not so much. Number two, keep your chickens water fresh. Let's face it, chickens poop is in their waterers all the time, but sometimes to our bewilderment, you have to wonder how they get it in there. Infected droppings in drinking water mean infected water. So change it regularly and clean your waterers often. If you're looking for a good waterer solution, you can also check out, I think Renacoop has a nipple waterer. That way it's not just a standing bowl. I know with standing bowls, especially if they're not elevated, while chickens scratch and peck on the ground, they can just kick dirt up and, and obviously their own poop. All right, so the next one, provide plenty of elbow room. Broiler chickens are often victims of coccidiosis because they're usually kept in large quantities in small spaces. If your coop is overcrowded, coccidiosis may spread so fast you won't even know what happened. Number four, medicated chick starter feeds. When you bring new babies into the world, whether from a hatchery or your broody hen, feeding commercially medicated starter crumble will help their immunity to coccidiosis. 
necrosis. Number five, vaccinate your chickens. If you have the option to vaccinate your chicks against coccidiosis, you can save yourself some worry. Plus, they won't need the medicated feed. Number six, quarantine new birds. When bringing new chickens into your flock, keep them separate from the rest of your chickens for at least 30 days. Watch for symptoms, and once you're sure it's safe, you can introduce the new flock members. And lastly, feed chicken feed in feeders. Never throw crumble or food on bedding in coops because if there's coccidiosis present, your chickens can quickly ingest it by accident. If you can stay on top of prevention, you should have very little to worry about. But if your coop comes down with coccidiosis, as long as you act fast, you can kick it in the chicken butt and get back to normal before you know it. If you like this video, be sure to check this one out over here where I talk about diseases chickens can get that are pretty common. And then also diseases that come from chickens that humans can get. Thanks for listening. If you liked the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you learned something new, also subscribe as well. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.